I've had a long interest and concern in Alzheimer's because when I was a fairly young college teacher at West Georgia College, I taught in the First Baptist Church senior men's department. The pastor thought it would be good for me as a young guy to spend time with some of the older folks. And so several of them ended up with Alzheimer's while I was their Sunday school teacher. And it brought home to me at a very early age how difficult and how challenging a disease Alzheimer's is. Well, recently we had a brand new drug called Lecanemab, which slowed down the progression of Alzheimer's by 27% if it's taken in the early stages of the disease. It was approved for use in the U.S. just earlier this month. Now, Eli Lilly has announced another drug, Donanemab, which you take as a monthly infusion into your bloodstream for 18 months, was found to slow mental decline by 36% in phase three trials the company just announced. Now, this to me is very exciting and very encouraging. The enormous progress we've made in cancer, for example, where cancers that used to be fatal can now be dealt with for years and years and just managed as something that we somehow know how to deal with. Now we're starting down that road with brain diseases and and with challenges like Parkinson's, like Alzheimer's. And that's really important because as the population ages, these diseases become major drivers of cost and major drivers of health. The average Alzheimer's patient, of course, has their own challenges, but the caretakers, the family members and others who take care of Alzheimer's patients have twice the rate of health problems, people are not taking care of anyone. So there are real secondary effects of diseases like Alzheimer's. And these two new drugs are a sign of encouraging hope that, in fact, we're moving towards a dramatically better future for one of the most terrible diseases that people can get. And if you'd like to learn more, please listen to my podcast, 509, which is a podcast about these kind of breakthroughs. My new book, March to the Majority, is now a bestseller. And it's available at Amazon, at Barnes & Noble, and at bookstores everywhere.